tonight, Shaker Heights police have released body camera footage of last week's shooting at the hands of an officer. It happened right outside the city's high school last Friday. Police say they were trailing a vehicle reported stolen out of Painesville. When they tried to stop that car, the driver sped off and crashed into another vehicle before bolting toward the school with a gun in his hand. Here's a look at that newly released body camera footage. Body cam footage shows Shaker Heights police running after the male driver of that stolen car. You can see the suspect in a yellow hoodie and jeans. He was also carrying a gun. Initially, you can see one of the officers chasing that man on foot with his gun drawn. His canine partner was also close on the suspect's heels. That officer gives multiple orders for the suspect to drop his gun. Get out of the ground! Drop it! Drop the gun! Drop it! I will shoot you! At some point, the officer also gets out his taser. Soon after, the man being pursued reaches behind him with gun in hand, and that's when he's shot by that officer multiple times. We've paused the video right before that shooting. A second officer can also be seen. So officers say the man running from them pointed a gun at them. The officer who fired is now on administrative leave. And tonight I spoke with Bowling Green criminologist Dr. Phil Stinson, who analyzed that same body camera video we just showed you. Now, in terms of whether or not this officer was justified in his use of daily force, Stinson tells me it could be a tough call for prosecutors. He had the gun in his right hand. All of a sudden the gun's in his left hand and it's behind his back as he's uh, going into a swinging motion to to throw the gun down. So uh, not an easy call. Uh, I would uh, think in this situation, it's uh, unlikely, though, that an officer would actually be charged with a crime. Our News 5 investigators spoke with family of the man shot, and they tell us he's a father of five and is in a local ICU. Shaker Heights police have asked BCI to investigate this police-involved shooting.